From com, I'm Skyrill and joined alongside Director of Track and Field Rochelle Black as your teams uh, get ready to prepare for the Emory Sportsplex Invitational this weekend. Coach, obviously something that you've talked about throughout the season is this is your team's, most of your team's first experience in a bank track. Talk about that and how that's going to kind of change things and alter the approach for your team. Well, simply put, a bank track, yeah, you have a chance to run a little bit faster. Uh, it's a 200 meter bank track, so it's kind of like NASCAR. When you go around the curves, uh, they're going to be able to, they're going to slightly go uphill around the curves, but as they come uh, back onto the straightaway, they're going to go downhill. So, a little bit of a uh, little bit of advantage there. Uh, our athletes that are from Europe are more accustomed to running on bank tracks, whereas our our kids that are from uh, the U.S. they haven't seen many of them. And I know from top, off the top of my head, only maybe one or two of our international kids have not seen a bank track. Talk about how you prepare your team. Obviously, you don't have the luxury of having a bank track here. It's a very unique thing for somebody that's never run on that, I assume. So how do you prepare them for that difference? I don't make any changes. When they get to the track, they have to learn how to run it on their own. Uh, each lane is a little bit higher than the other. So if you're in lane six, you may be a foot or two higher than the person in lane one. So they got to get acclimated on their own for that. You're taking a smaller contingent of runners this week. Kind of talk about the group that's going and kind of the expectations you've placed on them this weekend. Uh, the expectations are the same every week. Just continue to improve. Uh, I know we have a lot of people that aren't going, and some of that's precautionary. We have a few people from ETSU that uh, just were a little banged up. They ran pretty fast, and the byproduct of that is a little soreness. So we're shutting them down for this week. Uh, but the ones that are going, uh, Roberto, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring him up. Uh, he keeps chopping down at his uh, school record, so I'm hoping – he can do that again but also Chris Buford who runs the 800 with Roberto uh, I want to see if he can actually drop under two minutes in the 800 uh, we have Brandon running the 800 as well so that seems to be a growing theme here uh, he ran a really good mile last week and want to see if he can come back and get a little speed under him in that 800 on the women's side um, just speaking into her yesterday Brooke uh, she's going to run the mile this weekend and Brooke was someone that was an all-state performer in the mile, and while she may not be happy with how she did this weekend, I think that's going to sit in her mind uh, coming into the next two days. And obviously another thing about this, this particular venue is a pretty famous venue in the southeast region, so talk about that and how that could kind of be some exposure for the team. Yeah, you're talking about the, the building itself. Uh, it was over $55 million to build. It's hosted uh, – it's hosted countless conference championships from Division One, Two, II, and Three. Uh, it's hosted all three national championships for Division One, Two, II, and Three. It's also hosted the Winter Festival. So, uh, how that works is, some time ago they hosted the indoor track and field championships, while the swimming championships and basketball, and I believe wrestling, were going on all at the same time in that same venue over a span of, I think, four to seven days. So, you have a lot of people that are used to having big programs. Uh, uh, big programs going there. You have a lot of people that are used to running fast there, and I'm hoping our kids can see this is this is definitely something we need to aspire towards, competing in venues like this. Obviously, with this being the second meet since you kind of got back from your semester break here, kind of just, just talk about how you feel like the team has progressed individually and as a, as a team unit. I think individually we have a lot of people that are actually surprised about how they've run so far. Uh, Jamal Wiggins last year ran what I think are two PRs in his 200 and 400 respectively. Uh, so he's someone that stands out. But I think collectively, we have a lot of people that are running faster than they thought they were going to at this point. Uh, we have some that are disappointed in how they've run so far. Uh, moving forward, I think it's just a matter of whatever our aspirations are, as long as we're doing everything we can do to meet those goals, we'll be fine. The Emory Sportsplex Invitational takes place over one single day on Sunday. Results and a recap will be available at www.lmurelsplayers.com. For lmurelsplayers.com, I'm Scott Rowland. He's Rochelle Black.